Thank you all so much for being here this evening. It's truly an honor and a privilege to be the last speaker of the evening. Although that does come with some pluses and minuses, on the minus side, that means I'm the last thing standing between you and beer at the after party. <laughs> but on the plus side, and the more important side, is it's my job to really take all that we've had tonight, all the inspiration, and help turn it into a challenge, turn it into action, and take this audience to inspiration, to go out, be green, and multiply. <clears throat> all of us tonight are green heroes. We all have gathered here today with inspiration in our hearts and passion in our minds. The night began with lots of talks of technologies and opportunities, and now it's time for you all to take this one step further. All of us here are passionate about green. We're all focused on hope. We're all focused on green words. But now we must take it one step further. We must take it from hope to green action. I'm here to talk about tonight that green entrepreneurs can change the world. So I'd like to start out with a question for the audience out here. And again, I'm very excited to have you all here. I'd like to know, raise your hand if you would call yourself a green entrepreneur. Raise your hand, raise it high out there. Everyone look around at the audience. This is exciting, but it's wrong. <laughs> I challenge you by the end of this evening to raise your hand with everyone else and say, I am a green entrepreneur. Because all of us in this room gathered here tonight are green entrepreneurs. And together, in Tucson, we can form a green hub and change our world. It's not for the faint of heart, and it's not going to be easy. It takes passion, dedication, and a team of dedicated individuals who will ride behind Tucson for the next 20 years through ups and downs to bring this passion to light. But I'm confident that you can do it. My journey into green entrepreneurship began when I was just in high school, my father had left Enron, in fact, and had gone and started his own consulting business that was focusing on this emerging hot area called recycling. I was quite excited to not be lazy for the summer and take some research projects for my father, and thus began a 20-year history that has since taught me, taught me a lot about entrepreneurs, about green business, and about how the, our economy can go from being an old economy to a green innovation economy. And so tonight, I'd like to talk to you about three things this evening. The first, so just who are these green entrepreneurs? The second, how can we take Tucson to become the center of the green economy? And last, and my call of action, I want all of you to say it with me at the end of this evening that I am a green entrepreneur. And that's the most important part of this evening, is to take all the passion, the inspiration, and turn it into action. Because each and every one of the, uh, you out there truly is a green entrepreneur. So just who are these green entrepreneurs? Well, I can certainly tell you who they're not. They're not people who say, it's not easy being green. <laughs> they're not people who say, I'm only in it for the green, although they might be a little in it for the green. And they're not people who say that I'm green with envy because it's so much easier in other spaces, in technology and biotech. That's not who green entrepreneurs are. Green entrepreneurs are passionate individuals that care about doing something that involves sustainability, it involves profitability, and it involves humanity. And that's the three tenets of green business and green entrepreneurship. And these green entrepreneurs are taking people who are looking at challenges that have been addressed tonight and taking them and turning them into action. It doesn't have to be forming a business, but those are the individuals that are turning this into a changing economy. So who are these green entrepreneurs? Well, I'm sorry out there for all you women green entrepreneurs, but they mostly happen to be men so far, so that's the challenge out there. They're also individuals who are first-time entrepreneurs for the most part, which talks about why Tucson will really have to get behind and educate and mentor these new and emerging green entrepreneurs. And finally, they happen to be people who lean a little to the left politically, the left wing, if you will. But that doesn't mean that all of you Republicans out there can't be green entrepreneurs, and you should. So what are these green entrepreneurs doing out there? Well, they're tackling all kinds of problems. We've heard about many of them tonight. Some of them on the global large scale, the gigawatt solar projects. Others are emerging technologies funded by venture capital that hope to one day grow on the scene. But still others, and the ones that I want each of you to think about here today as you raise your hand that you can be a green entrepreneur, are things you can do out of your own home forming businesses that may be something as simple as creating a community organization around recycling, 
creating a lobbying organization to lobby for tax reforms. Those are all green entrepreneurship opportunities, and that's where I think we all have that opportunity. So this slide evidence, evidence is very clearly what green entrepreneurship and green technology is not. And that's why Tucson has the opportunity to be a leader in this space, because there is so much more to it about being a leadership in the innovation economy that Tucson has those opportunities to take those challenges ahead. So what can Tucson do? Well, it can learn from the other technology innovation hubs around the world. In my job as a lawyer and an activist and an author, I've traveled to many of the green and the non-green hubs of innovation, places like Silicon Valley, Boston, Washington, D.C., Seattle, and right here in Tucson, Arizona. So what can we do as Tucson, Arizona to embrace green entrepreneurship and take ourselves to be the leader, the centerpiece, the green hub of our economy? Well, we can learn from those who came before us. Places like Silicon Valley, places like Seattle, and if you can't guess the last one, I'll give you a hint, it's in Colorado. What can we learn from a place like Silicon Valley? Well, we can understand that Silicon Valley is a place that has the benefit of great research institutions, just like the University of Arizona. It's a place that every year gets lots and lots of people who move to, Ari move to Silicon Valley for the opportunity to create technology. And those people stay there, just like Arizona. And it's a place that has money and opportunity to people, for people to invest in new and emerging businesses, create, takes those businesses and creates repeat entrepreneurship who can tackle the new entrepreneurs as mentors and create an economy. All opportunities that Tucson has. But Tucson doesn't have to set out to be the next Silicon Valley. No one should try to be the next Silicon Valley, but they should learn from places like Seattle. Seattle has taken itself as a position to leverage research institutions like the Fred Hutch Cancer Research Center, institutions like Microsoft and Amazon to focus on what it's good at, cancer research, companies that are fighting cancer and building the next generation drugs, and companies that are tackling e-commerce, spinning out of Microsoft and Amazon. And most importantly, we should learn from a place like Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado, just 15 years ago, wasn't even a speck on the radar of innovation or technology. Sure, it was a great place to go skiing, but what isn't? What Boulder did, though, in the last 15 years is went to become named, in 2010, the top place in the country to form a technology business. 15 years is all it took. There's more work to be done, and the leaders in the economy will tell you that. But this journey, it takes time. It takes a group of committed individuals, six of them, maybe seven, who can really focus on this journey for 20 years. Boulder has gone on a 20-year path towards creating itself to be a technology leader and spinning out technology and creating itself as to be a technology hub of our country. But it took a 20-year journey. And as Brad Feld, one of the founders of this kind of movement in Boulder, who, lived, who moved there about 15 years ago, said, I've seen three ups and three downs. And Tucson has to realize that to be a leader in the green economy, it too has to make an investment of 20 years. It has to get those leaders, the people who put this event on tonight, and the people in the room to commit to a leadership path of 20 years to establish itself as a green hub for our economy. And finally, it has to keep attracting new talent in here through the University of Arizona and through other places where you can bring in talent and keep them here, help mentor them. Help them understand that it's all about recycling talent. When talent grows to a point where they sell their next company, they come back in and mentor those around them. They leverage the value of Arizona's educational system that provides smart, excited, passionate individuals, combines them with mentorship, and helps those individuals fly to build their next green business. So the most important part of the evening and the reason that you all are here right now, this is the time where, just like John F. Kennedy said, Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Well, I say right now, ask not what the green economy can, not, ask not what the green economy can do for you, ask what you can do for the green economy. Ask what you can do for Tucson, and ask what you can do to make, to change our world by taking a step of action towards green entrepreneurship. So, what am I asking you here tonight? I'm asking you to sit there in your head, take your idea that's in your head, and figure out how to turn it into action. Maybe your passion is around recycling or organics. Take that passion, gather with others, and find a way to take that idea and turn it into initiative. Maybe you're committed to finding ways to create an incubator to spur more talent. Or maybe you're interested in finding ways that you can help create an angel group that can focus on green investing, 
All of these opportunities are things that you can do because each of you is a green entrepreneur. So who do I want you to become? I want you to be the next superheroes of the green economy. I want you to be the people that say, I created the next great wind company here in Tucson. I was the one who came up with that new recycling idea that went to become the next big, big deal out there. Or something as simple as I was the one that helped mentor a young entrepreneur who just wanted to get out there and make a difference. And that's what it means to be a green entrepreneur. And that's what it means for all of you in this room to be here tonight and commit to a 20-year journey, the next 20 years, to make Tucson the center of a green economy. So this is the point in the night where I want all of you to make a pledge with me. I'm going to have all of you raise your hand with me, and I'm going to have all of you make a pledge to each other and to the room that you are all green you are all green entrepreneurs. So let's do it right now. I'd like all of you to stand up right now. Everyone in the audience right now, please stand up with me. This is the uh, interactive portion of the night. All right, I want you to look around right now. I want everyone to look around the audience and see the faces in this room right here because these are the leaders that create the next 20-year vision for Tucson to be a leader in green entrepreneurship and to be the center of the innovation economy. So I want each of you, like before, to raise your hand when I asked earlier. Raise your hand up in the air as high as you can right now. Look around at the people in the room right now, and I want everyone on the count of three to say it with me. I am a green entrepreneur, all right? On the count of three, one, two, three. I am a green entrepreneur. Now say it one more time so that all of Tucson can hear you right now. I am a green entrepreneur. Yes, you are, and thank you, Tucson. <laughs> 